Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today I have a Q&A and the question of the day is, should a woman pursue or chase a man? I got that answer right after this. Stay tuned. All right fam, thanks so much for returning back to I Love Me Me Me. So let me just go ahead and answer this question. Should a woman chase or pursue a man Absolutely not. No, 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 no. Now, of course, I got some reasons on why it's a no, okay? But if you are a woman out there who is a chaser, who is a pursuer, you listen up, sis, okay? First of all, don't do it because it is humiliating and exhausting. Yes, it is. That is not your role. That is the man's role. The man is the pursuer. The man is the chaser. Which actually leads me into the second point. If he wanted to be caught, sis, he would have been caught. You would have caught him without even having to think about catching him. He would have been caught. You would have been caught. Because again, that is his role. He is the pursuer. He is the chaser. Whenever it is something that your man wants, the man that you want to be your man wants, guess what? He goes out and gets it. Whatever goal he is trying to pursue, he goes out and gets it. So guess what? You are not part of his goal if he has not caught you. I know. That sucks. Sucks to hear. But it's the truth. I want you guys to get the knowledge here because literally knowledge is power. But applied knowledge is better. You can't just have the knowledge. You cannot just know what not to do. And then when you turn your back, when your friends ain't there, you stop watching these videos, you go out there and do that thing, wonder why things ain't working out. No. You have to know the knowledge and then actually apply it to your life. The guy is the chaser. The guy is the pursuer. If he wanted to be caught, he would have caught you already. Another thing on why you should not be chasing or pursuing the guy is because you are missing out on life, sis. All of the potential guys that are out there, because you have now locked yourself in the house or pissed off that the guy that you're pursuing, that you're chasing, has not answered your call, your text, or even the door, because some of y'all crazy enough just to go show up. No. No. You wasn't invited. Don't do it. Like I said, if he wanted to be caught, he would have caught you already. You're missing out on life. You're missing out on your friends. You're missing out on your family. You're missing out on your hobbies. All because you're waiting on this guy that you are chasing. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't care what nobody tell you. Because even if you chase and even if you catch him... You will be chasing him the entire relationship only for you to be even more exhausted the further on, the more years that pass. And then you're going to be wondering how come he's not really into this relationship? How come he don't put forth any effort? It's because he never had to. Because you were the chaser. You took away from the role. You, you basically, you got the testosterone and he got the estrogen. Don't do it, sis. Think about yourself. Be around the people that want to also be around you as well. Go out on the dates with the guys who want to actually date you. Be in the relationship with the guy that actually wants to be in a relationship with you. If that has not happened yet, it's all right. Still do not become the chaser or the pursuer because the guy, you know, you really want to be dating really want to be the feminine person in the relationship and then when you do like I said when you do eventually catch him and he finally gives in he's not going to be a willing happy participant in your relationship you will still be doing everything only to be pissed off every time you see him after you call him but sis that's what you wanted you wanted him so bad that you were willing to chase him, not realizing that this was going to be a part of your consequence. You made the choice to chase. Your consequence is, 
your consequence is now to continue to chase him the entire relationship. And then when you guys break up, guess what? His testosterone has returned and he is out chasing the next girl. If he's not already chasing women, why is he in a relationship with you? Because he don't feel like the man with you. You have taken the testosterone and now it's in your possession and you're walking around with it. Speaking of that, men are not attracted to masculine energy. And when you start to chase him, when you start to pursue him, obsessively pursue him, he's no longer attracted to that. But instead of him actually telling you he's attra not attracted to that or telling you to lose his number or blocking you, he'll just let you continue so you can get tired. Because men don't like drama. They want to keep it down to all the way, can you see that? All the way to a minimum on the drama. And he know if you're chasing this hard, you're not going to be a person that's going to easily walk away. He's going to have drama with you. And he don't want that. So he's just going to let this fade away as much as possible. You'll call, you'll text as much as possible. And guess what he's going to be doing? Ghosting you for hours and hours. And at some point, he's going to give you a tiny bit of hope and answer you. And you're going to be thinking, oh, okay, all right. You're going to have that, that, that hope, that hope right there. But really, there's no hope. If the guy is not chasing you, it's because he does not want to be caught, period. 